Hi guys, it's Alicia and I am back with a Scrappy Playdate uh, that is just a series that Hannah Lemieux and myself do here on YouTube. Um, this time we decided to work with a sketch which you see and I'm just showing you um, kind of there that circle part is actually kind of some stitching lines so I wanted to recreate that and so what I did is I used that Fiskars template that you saw in the beginning and I um, hand stitched these two circles into the back of my layout. Um, I'm just trimming up my photo here um, which was printed on my selfie and then I I usually um, lately have been running my filters through or my pictures through like Instagram filters um, so like while I don't Instagram I do use the app for I like the filters that they have on there so it is ran through there um, the background paper that I'm using is just uh, some watercolor paper I don't do any mixed media on this page but um, I mentioned this before I just really love the weight of it it's you know it's watercolor paper so it's like 140 pounds <laughs> so it's pretty thick I just like that um, I did put some gesso on the background because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be doing when I started, but um, after I did the stitching, I just decided I didn't want anything to mess that up because it did it was pretty tedious and it did take some time. Um, so, yeah, I decided against that. <laughs> so um, I pulled out a frame. I've been really into using frames. That you know, I have um, a package of the open book frames, and I have a package of the pure frames. This frame is from the pure, and they give you so many. And I just really want to try to use as many as I can. So I've really been into just using as many of those as I can lately. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. So I think I was talking about these frames. Yeah, I just have really, um, you know, I want to use them. So I've been using them a lot in my layouts and trying to think of different ways to use them. So, um, yeah, I pulled out some, a paper from the Poolside Collection, the 6x6. And um, it has that same mint color. The thread is like a mint color and like a, like a light dusty pink color, I guess you would say. And... Um, yeah, so that paper is similar to that mint color. So I just um, wanted to frame my photo in that a bit. And then I'm going to cut a couple strips off of this 12 by 12 piece of paper that is also from Poolside. And I'm gonna use the front side and the back side. Um, I did stick, for print most of the layout, I did stick to the sketch. Um, sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. In this case, I did. And um, other than the embellishing, so. So that's a piece of washi tape. I believe it's Studio Calico. It's pretty, pretty old. Um, but that color matched really well with the colors in the paper behind the photo. So, um, yeah, I used it. <laughs> and I just tore one edge of it. So there's a straight edge and kind of a torn edge. And I'm just going to clip a couple little small snippets off these two pieces of poolside paper um, just to put up in that corner there. So, um, yeah, I have done quite a bit uh, or quite a few layouts lately with Poolside. I love this collection. Um, I definitely haven't, you know, killed the pieces of the collection that I have. I didn't get the complete collection, um, but I definitely haven't killed it. I may be halfway through. Oh, I should mention this color quick um, while I'm blabbing away. That is the new hickory smoke. Not this. This is pumice stone, but I did go around each of my papers with the new hickory smoke. It is, I am so glad that Tim Holtz came out with that color. I feel like he was really lacking like a nice cool gray. Um, and I love it. I love it, love, love it. Gray is my favorite neutral color. And while this pumice stone kind of used to serve as a gray, I feel like, um, it's a more like brownish gray, warm gray, where this the new hickory smoke is a cool gray. And I love it. So anyways, yeah, I did take that pumice stone though, because, um, cray paper does tend to have some off white colors, cream colors in it. And I, um, just used the, a little dauber to put it through, uh, Tim Holtz, like splatter stencil, um, because there were some splatters in the sketch. Um, but anyways, yeah, back to the poolside collection while you, you can pretty much see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to put it aside for a second though. I have a couple other collections um, that I've been wanting to work with. Um, and I also just got the new Summer Vibes collection from Simple Stories, which I'm thinking about possibly um, putting together some type of um, 
small album with like because there's so many pocket page cards in there that I might have a go at that so let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing or not um and I'll, of course I will still be doing a 12 by 12 layouts you know with that collection but and then I also have the uh, Amy Tan Rise and Shine which I still haven't broken into so yeah I'm just kind of itching to get started with some other collections so I'm going to put this aside for a little bit and kind of a lot of my crepe paper stuff um for the moment um you know I'm just starting to get bored I that's what I felt like when I was doing this layout I was just starting to get bored of looking at the same um things so but it will be back trust me because I love this collection and I still have quite a bit of it left so uh yeah I will it will make another appearance eventually <laughs> so yeah I'm just you know fiddling here this is what I do I'm pulling out the ephemera that goes with this collection that specialty acetate um sheet um the sticker sheet the chipboard the cut aparts and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put where so I am going to end up using that gold foil acetate card and that says, uh, I think it says play all day. Um, so this photo is, we went to a water park one day and my little daughter, Olivia, she was in the wave pool and um, they provide like they have a stand where you can get life jackets for the littler kids so that they can still enjoy the waves and stuff when they come. And she just stayed right at the shallow end. If you can see in the picture, it's zero feet, zero inches. <laughs> but when the waves would start, they do it like every 10 or 15 minutes and these huge waves come in. Um, she would just lay on her belly and let them kind of float her along. So it was kind of cute. So I had to get down on her level and take a picture of it. It was funny. <laughs> so yeah, that's what this photo is of. So that little chipboard piece was perfect because it said uh, floating along or something like that. And so um, yeah, I thought that was perfect to use with that sentiment. Sometimes I care what the sentiment or what the icon is and then sometimes I could care less so <laughs> this time it was just really appropriate and um yeah so I threw that in there and I'm gonna use these uh chipboard kind of word phrase stickers and uh put those there put those there now because I put clear gesso on my paper before I began everything the stickers and anything that was sticky back that was directly on there I had a hard time kind of getting to stick so some of the stuff I have to reinforce with liquid glue and stuff but for now I'm just kind of playing and seeing what I want where so and yeah I mean I did kind of struggle through this layout a little bit and I like I said I think it's just because I'm just kind of getting tired of looking at the same embellishments and the same papers and you know I still love this collection but yeah it just gets boring we've all been there <laughs> so so I'm gonna label or label I'm gonna layer this label with this little um like banner type piece that says the best and that is why I really chose the pumice stone because it's really the same color as that sticker right there and um, so yeah that's why I opted to use that instead of that cooler gray but yeah that is amazing if, if you love gray like a nice crisp cool gray it that's definitely what that is so um, yeah, and I'm just pulling some elements off of the sticker sheet uh, to kind of embellish just like the smaller basic shape type elements this little word sticker says swim and I thought there could be just a little bit more blue up in that corner because I well I don't think there was much at all so <laughs> I threw that up there and this was a border piece off the sticker sheet that I used previously and I cut a little bit off so I just used the rest there and this um, fun word sticker I really like those stickers this is the first one that I've used of those like word strip or they have like a strip at the bottom, but they're die cut at the top. I like those. So um, yeah, I threw that one up there. And when I began this layout, I didn't realize that I wanted to include so much of the yellow color from this, um, this uh, collection, but I liked it in the end. I mean, I really like yellow anyways. I just feel like it's happy and it brightens up things. Um, so yeah, that just kind of took on a life of its own, the yellow, but I like it, so... So I just had to reinforce some of the stuff, like I said, that gesso, especially the clear Liquitex gesso is very, very gritty. That's the grittiest out of all the gessos that I own. And I don't know if it has something to do with because of its 
clear or what, but um, yeah. I have some gessos that are so smooth that after they dry, I mean, it's like, you know, like a baby's bottom. <laughs> So yeah, I threw one of those diamond like color blocked chipboards over there and I'm going to layer this gold foil uh, arrow over it. And then um, I also put one of those plus signs uh, down by that fun sticker up there just to add something up there. And I had to pop up the back part of that arrow because uh, I'm layering it over another chipboard piece partially. So got that down and sorry this was just a lot of fiddling around I tried to cut down some of these down parts here oh I was I was going to grab some alphas um, for my title so um, I do end up grabbing some wax paper which I don't always do because sometimes I'm not that fussy about the placement of my title but to be honest I didn't know for sure where I wanted my title to go because the page filled up pretty fast so I used the small tile stickers off of the um, poolside sticker sheet to spell out waiting for the and then I used those Fitzgerald uh, thickers um, to spell out waves and so the title would be waiting waiting for the waves I wanted to do waiting but um, I I'm such a dummy when I put them on right here I forgot the N in the ING and waiting and then I didn't realize until I started putting them down and it didn't allow enough room for to add the extra N in, well, it shouldn't be extra, the forgotten N in, so I just took out the G to replace it with the N, if that even made any sense at all to anybody else. <laughs> so I wanted it to be waiting for the waves, but it ended up being waiting for the waves, so not a biggie for me. <laughs> so I decided to throw my title down there, so I'm just putting um, the little tile stickers down and then I'm going to put the waves um, somewhat a little bit some of the letters a little bit layered under that uh, sheet of paper there so yeah that pool sticker over there I'm gonna pop up it was partly popped up because I was gonna use it somewhere else and then decided not to um, but I don't know about you stickers for me if I pull them off and then don't end up using them I have good intentions of putting them back and then when I try to, they end up getting lost. So I was like, I'm just going to use it. <laughs> just put it on there. And then I don't know why, because now when I'm watching the video, it looked okay without this sticker right here. But when I was doing the layout, it did not. <laughs> so I did put that sticker there. It's like a pool, you know, a pool wall, how it looks on the pool wall. And then that little 35 cent you know, sticker and then this sticker. I mean, I'm just trying to use some of this stuff up. I mean, I'm, I think I'm doing a pretty good job, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of getting bored with it. So then I grabbed these Teresa Collins gold foil, uh, like little tile stickers, and I'm that frame has a space for the date on the top. So I'm just going to use those stickers to fill in that date, 6, 11, 15. And I just do like, I don't even know if it's a whole sentence of journaling up on that little gold glitter tag. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, oh, it's not. I'm sorry. I am off looking for some enamel dots. And in that process, I found this little flare, which is from Styleboard. But it had that yellow color in there. So I decided to throw that in there. And then, yeah, I'm just putting down some enamel dots. These are from uh, my mind's eye, like a really long time ago. Really, really long time ago. Actually, I think I got them at Michael's when they had a Christmas line that coordinated with them or some kind of line. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty old, but they matched really good. So I just used like that grayish, that, you know, warm gray color, um, a, that blue color, and then a yellow color and just kind of scattered those. Um, so, yeah, here's the close-ups. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go check out Hannah's version of the sketch. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. There will be some stills at the end if you want to check that out. And I will definitely try to throw a blog post up of this as well. So hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.